Hey, this is Mirgloff, and this is the BGSF Minecraft server. And I'm here with Retrocron, and we're looking at the Imperial City he's been working on. And we're walking across the bridge here. And is this, uh, this is the Talos Plaza, right? Uh, yes, this is the Talos Plaza. The uh, original idea for it is uh, housing for mods and uh, admins and that kind of stuff. Did you pick your house, uh, one of your houses in here? I don't remember. Yeah, it's this one right here on the end, uh, right here. I don't have it decorated or anything, but... I should pick... Each should of these pick... are uh, two stories, by the way. I should pick a house for myself. Do you have any, like, uh, commercial district? Uh, like a market district? Or... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's on the back side. Uh, next one around is the Elven Gardens, though. This is just general player housing. Each Each house is one story. What's on the second floors up there? Housing. Oh. So there's oh. uh you can get to the other houses on the back sides of each of the buildings. There's uh two staircases for each side. Oh I see. Oh, I see. Top floors are a little bit more private, um than the more more so than the bottom floors, but they're still uh about the same. And this district and the uh, market district are both identical. Um, need to fix that sign, actually. But this would be the market district. Um, I think Mr. E's still got his shop in here somewhere. Yeah, his shop is over here. Oh, that's cool. And there's plenty of space for uh, sign shops as well, so um, I'm not entirely sure whether I want to let people use the top floor as storage or if I want to let them use it as more uh, uh, housing or more shops or what, but there's a uh, second story as well on each of these buildings. Cool. Yeah, I'll probably s s set up a shop in there somewhere. This is this is uh, this is uh, um the temple district? No. No. No, it's let me see if I can find the actual name of it cuz I had it and I messed it up. I can rem never remember what it was called cuz it was really completely irrelevant. Arboretum. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's or right. whatever it is. That would mean the uh the uh, Imperial, the Arcane University will be somewhere over here. Um, actually, that's going to be the uh, that's going to be the water district or the, the the waterfront because this is not there. There's only four districts in this uh, this version of the Imperial City, um, just because we're dealing with blocks and I didn't have the foresight to plan ahead and ask Tank to make a circle, um, so it ended up being a little short, but... Yeah, that's okay. Still pretty good. Um, and then of course there's the white gold tower here in the center. And it's, uh... I assume it has the elevator mod we're using? Yes, it does. Uh, so don't go up at the same time as someone else. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's no, uh, there's no, the Mystic Dawn secret marker. Okay. There are 11 floors. Uh, the top floor is the, sort of the observation deck. There's not actually anything up there. You can observe the, uh, the city from up here. And jump. 
Gonna get some dirt here just for a moment. I'll break it back down when I'm done. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Can you see the island or? Uh, which island is that? The the actual island that's on. Oh yeah, you can see that. Oh, yeah. Because I don't know, my render distance was set to short, oh, no. or uh, oh, no. normal, rather. Um, Tank actually created the island, of course, but uh, he used an overlay, some kind of overlay, to uh, actually make it pretty much spot on with the Imperial City Island. Oh, uh, damn it. <laughs> Did you try to teleport to me? Uh, no, I just accidentally jumped off the edge. Um, hmm. It should be around the base. Could you just sort of, like, fly over there so I can hopefully uh, TP to my stuff? Or actually, no, I can do this. That should work. Nope, it did not work. Oh, wait. I have no idea what's going on. I'm in the void now. I think the server might be lagging. User in your channel timed out. Yep. All right. Uh, there was a interruption between the recording. However, in that time. Uh, Retrocorn has had more time to complete the uh, the Imperial City. Okay, so this is the Imperial Bridge, and Retrocorn is no longer on the call. I don't believe he's built the waterfront district yet, but I think I believe he plans to. And these are the stables. And we'll take a look at uh, things like the uh, Arcane University and the uh, Orrery. I'm not sure if he built the. Uh, the Imperial Prison or not. But over here is the Arcane University. This is the library. It's uh, not a particularly close to how it is in Oblivion, but that's fine. I don't believe I can actually get past that gate, which is unfortunate. I could find my own way through. Oh, okay, I can. Take a look over here. I believe most of these buildings are essentially the same. I'm not sure that he's added much to the inside of them. So we'll go this way. This probably has like a nether portal or something in here. Research wing of oblivion gates. Yeah. Pretty interesting. And I'm not sure what that room's for. And uh, most of the uh, 
pretty much all the initial uh, center part of the Imperial City was built by hand by Retrocorn. Uh, the rest of this, though, was done in creative mode, granted uh, to him by uh, Mr. Tank Jump, our admin. Here's the orrery. Takes a little bit of time to get to the orrery. Don't know what's over there. Can't really access it, so oh well. Oop, damn it. Just do this to get a better look. I think it's pretty cool. Oh, pardon me. <coughs> Had to cough there. I've never actually I've never actually seen the orrery in Oblivion simply because I never paid for that DLC. Did not interest me. I mean I've seen pictures, but that's all. Pictures in the Prima Strategy Guide. This is the only time I've ever seen the Orrery. But that is pretty much that. I'm going to see if there's uh, the, uh, the Imperial Prison or not. We'll go ahead and take a look at the other floors in the uh, Arcane University. Ah. Tricky elevator mod. Uh, hmm. Appears as though they might all be the same. Oops, I messed it up. Hmm, yeah. Okay. Well, we'll just check six for the benefit of the doubt. He's likely to add. I don't like how I'm following that. Okay. He's likely to add more detail. Uh, yeah, as you can see, he's not quite finished yet. Huh? Yeah, as you can see, this is another mod. Oh, okay, never mind. We have like a Windows breaking uh, plugin. And we'll see if there's an Imperial Prison. Okay, so he has not yet uh, really much started the Imperial Prison part of the Imperial City. He was uh, uh, working on a sewer. I don't know how to find that sewer. I don't know where the access point was. It was somewhere in a hatch, but I don't know. I can take a look at the uh, waterfront district or where the waterfront district will be simply because uh, Mr. Tank Jump used World Edit to make this island and he put quite a lot of work to make it look. Is this the waterfront? Oh, so he has worked on the waterfront. But uh, basically, uh, Mr. Tank Jump, our admin, used a uh, overlay using a uh, mini map plugin that he has to sort of uh, draw out this island. So it's pretty much as close as it, you can be to uh, having the terrain of the Imperial City Island, at least at this scale. 
And these chunks are not loading. That's basically it. It's pretty cool. Retro Corn has put in a lot of effort to building this. And I think the last thing we're going to do is I'm going to go to the top of the white gold tower. And just get a good look at it all before we end this video. And there's some other stuff to show in the near future, such as my werewolf mansion and uh, Mr. Tank Jump's floating island. Neither of those are necessarily complete. This is an elevator plug-in, by the way. Okay, try and get a better view. Uh, he won't mind if I build a cobblestone thing. I'll tear it down. Well, there we go. Pretty close to being complete, and already it is pretty epic. It's not a perfect square, but he wasn't going for exact replica. He was just going for the gist of it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, see you guys later.